the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And they were all. 
with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Though it has many parts, 
and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body. So also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord.
Then evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I sent you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sons you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord Jesus. Theme, a recreation theme. 
Today's gospel also takes up the theme of recreation. In fact, John's gospel is all about a new creation from beginning to end. Right? Uh, in the beginning, God created man, male and female, and breathing life into us. Now Jesus, as you heard in the gospel, breathes on the apostles and says to them, receive the Holy Spirit. Right? A new creation has begun. The church is to serve this purpose. That's what we exist to do. Bring about a new order, a new creation, a new existence in Christ. And how does this happen? Well, then Jesus goes on. For those, for those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. What is What's happening? What's happening? Jesus is entrusting the power of the recreating Holy Spirit to the apostles. And now they are to recreate, they are to clean up God's creation by how? the forgiveness of sins. And we do that every time we celebrate the sacrament of reconciliation. So brothers and sisters, all of us, all of us are in need of a new creation, a recreation. You know, with the conditions that our world uh, is in, we can all feel a little weary, we can feel a lot very weary, worn out, frustrated, angry, despondent, etc., etc., etc. But we need the Holy Spirit. This is what Pentecost is all about. A new beginning, a new creation. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to refresh us for our mission of recreating the world in the image and likeness of Jesus Christ to renew the face of our earth. Responders, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we have prayer. For all of those in the military who risked their lives and, and service for us, that we may remain free. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we have prayer. For the prayers that we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we have prayer. As we offer this fast, we determine to have repose the soul of Job for We pray to the Lord. Lord, we have prayer. Father, O power, receive these prayers from a people made one by the Holy Spirit who always dwells within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith.
we thank the Lord for giving his life. Uh, that was, his wife as well was so generous to donate these, these flowers today. And thank you to everybody who made the sanctuary so beautiful during the Easter season. Check your bulletins, please, so that the Holy Spirit be nudging you, maybe, to participate in uh, being a volunteer for Vacation Bible School. Vacation Bible School is a wonderful ministry to our kids. Uh, uh, each summer that we do a big program, it's going to be July 11th through the 15th. Uh, it's not too uh, early to register for BBS if you're a youngster. Uh, the deadline to register is June 20th. Uh, if you're interested in uh, volunteering, because Alejandra Duda, our DRE, still needs uh, volunteers, uh, you can contact her. And also, if you're interested in registering your, your child for, for vacation Bible school, you can also reach her uh, contact information is in the bulletin. Our Eucharistic Adoration Holy Hour uh, will be this Wednesday, June 8th, from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Please come out and pray before the presence of our, our Eucharistic King and Lord. Um, what a special time that is to have as a parish. The Holy Spirit will be with us and continue to renew us in the ways that we need to in Eucharistic Adoration. Uh, and collection baskets are every door. Your contributions we're so grateful for every week here in this parish to keep this parish mission alive. God bless you all, and have a wonderful Pentecost, and let us enter into this new liturgical season uh, in the Holy Spirit's power. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. And thanks be to God.